Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. Before I get started, I just want to show you this. I picked it up yesterday at the Goodwill. It is a uh, Rogers Brothers wooden case. Um, right down here, it gives all the information about the case and how it's for a silver plate set. And, and inside is a mix of all different brands, actually. I would say about a third of it is Roger Brothers or WM Rogers, and the rest is like Crown, Sheffield, Royal Saxony, New Salem community. There's all different uh, pieces of silverware in here. So mainly I picked this up to learn. It was only $7, and I figured if I just sell the case, I will most likely just get my money back and everything else will be free. And uh, it looks like I can break these down into little lots and the forks are right at the end. These are the Sheffield and these are like little dessert forks and there's like, I think there's four of them. So those alone are like 10 or $15 and it looks like, I would say the worst this would do is a $50 profit, but probably I'm looking between a 50 and a hundred dollars. So if you see something like this, even if it isn't a set and you want to break it down, Normally I wouldn't want to, but I really do want to learn because this does require polishing and I hate polishing silverware, but in case you don't know, like um, the tarnish remover, I can't stand the smell of tarnish remover. That's one of the main reasons, but um, you can use toothpaste. If you take uh, just a regular tube of uh, toothpaste, like Crest toothpaste and a little cool water and you work it between your fingers and you work it all over, you know, your silverware, it will take the tarnish right off of it. It really works very, very well. And all you smell is mint. So it is so much better. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. And for the first item, I have a Woolrich woman's sweater. Um, I picked this up at the Salvation Army for $2.50. It sold for $15.39, and the buyer paid $22.59 for the item plus shipping. Okay, this is a pair of Johnston & Murphy loafers. Um, I picked this up for $4.50 at the Salvation Army. It sold for $48.99. And the buyer paid $60.14 for the item plus shipping. Now you see over here it says Deerfield to Mock Toe. Um, I got that information by looking at the numbers over here. So when I Googled it, I put in, I think it was 26215, and that was the style number, I believe. Now you might mix up the numbers, like you might put the wrong number as a style number. I've done that before. But if nothing comes up, try another set of numbers because usually that will be it. So you can get that information because it does mean a lot because people search by the names more than they're going to search by that style number. Okay, this is a Coldwater Creek sweater and it was a cashmere blend, which was really nice. It was $5.50 at the Goodwill. It sold for $24.49 and the buyer paid $31.69 for the item plus shipping. Okay, this was really nice. This was a Woolrich, um, it was kind of like a shirt, the heaviest shirt you've ever seen, or a jacket. So I just put jacket shirt. I wasn't sure how to say if it was a flannel shirt or it was a jacket, but it was very, very, very heavy. So there's the tag. So that is definitely a vintage tag. Um, I paid $5.50 for this at the um, Goodwill. It sold for $31.49 and the buyer paid $38.69 for the item plus shipping. This is a pair of women's Levi's jeans. These were $3 at the Salvation Army. They sold for $13.99 and the buyer paid $21.19 for the item plus shipping. All right, this is a pair of Adidas vintage athletic track pants. And there was nothing special. These were just pure black. There was no stripes or no color whatsoever. I was surprised they did quite as well as they did. There's the tag. Um, they were $4.50 at the Goodwill. They sold for $18.89 and the buyer paid $25.54 for the item plus shipping. And I think they sold in like a week or two. Right, this is just a pair of Hollister jeans for women. They were only 50 cents at the sale at the Goodwill. They sold for $13.99 and the buyer paid $21.19 for the item plus shipping. And this is a pair of Clark's booties. Um, the booties usually do a little bit better than the mules. 
Um, these were $5 at the Goodwill. They sold for $20.99, and the buyer paid $29.64 for the item plus shipping. And this is a pair of Under Armour sweatpants. Uh, I picked them up for $4.50 at the Goodwill. They sold, I think, within a couple of days for $19.59, and the buyer paid $26.79 for the item plus shipping. Okay, this is another pair of Clarks. Um, this is like a Mary Jane style shoe. They were four, nope, yep, they were four dollars at the Goodwill. They sold for twenty dollars and ninety nine cents, and the buyer paid thirty dollars and seventy four cents for the item plus shipping. Also, too, I, I usually do better. Like if it's like a ten size ten or eleven, I usually will put that out for a little bit more as well. So if you get a really a bigger size, I would definitely try to get a little bit more money for that. Okay, this is a uh, Ralph Lauren jacket. Um, it was just a cotton jacket, and there's the tag. And I picked this up at a church sale for $3, and it sold for $19.59. And the buyer paid $26.79 for the item plus shipping. And I think, too, it also had a few little marks on it. Very, very light. I mean, you can barely see it. But even if you see something like that, you really it would be a benefit for you to put it in the pictures don't just write it because so many people do not read um definitely put it in the picture put a penny underneath it so you know it will pop in their minds that they're looking for something so you see how you can hardly see this but if the penny is there and they're looking at the pictures they're going to realize something is there that they should be looking at and they don't just breeze through the pictures and say hey i didn't see that okay so that's kind of important to show all the flaws in your pictures Okay, this is a pair of Adidas, they're called Neo sneakers, um, for men. They were, let's see, they were $4 at the Goodwill. They sold for $18.89, and the buyer paid $43.39 for the item plus shipping, and it was shipped to Canada. Okay, the last item is a... Canali wool blazer. Now this was great. This was um, at the Salvation Army for four dollars and fifty cents, which was just amazing. Um, it sold for eighty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents, and the buyer paid ninety-one dollars and nineteen cents for the item plus shipping. So there was some tiny flaws. Um, there was a tiny bit of wear on the cuffs, and there were two tiny pulls, and they were so tiny you would think you really don't have to show it, but you really, really should. So I even just flipped it over. You could just see this tiny bit of wear like right on the tips. So I showed it in the last picture and I tell people, look at the last few pictures. That's where I'm gonna show it. And over here, there's a little, I'll get the bigger picture. There's that tiny little pull right above the penny. And the same thing right there. It only will help you if you show it. This way you do not get returns or people say they didn't see it. If you have it stated, and I would state it in both places, in the item condition and in the item description. And if you show it in the pictures, they really don't have anything to say once they receive it. Okay, the last two items are Etsy items. The first one is, it was a box of six cow slate coasters, which I just thought was kind of cute. It was at, the, um, at a church sale. And you can see right here it comes in the box and it came with this pamphlet. And it was only a dollar, so it did sell for $7.99, and the buyer paid $13.49 for the item plus shipping. And the last thing I have is a vintage 1997 Coca-Cola mug. I think you can sell anything now from 1998 and back. So unless you have a handmade item or it's older than that it's 1998 or back, uh, you can't sell it on... Um, Etsy, or you're not supposed to sell it on Etsy unless it's vintage or handmade. Okay, this, um, nothing special, you know, see a real short uh, description over here. There were no flaws. And then you always want to show the bottom where it's signed with the date. And it was only 50 cents. All my mugs are 59 cents from the Goodwill. It sold for $8.99, and the buyer paid $19.54 for the item plus shipping. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and your sales are going great and I will see you next time.